Hi, I've been asked to share some of my thoughts on the first verse of Psalm 67, which begins in the NIV version. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. And so as I was reflecting on what this could mean to me personally and how it links into my own life and experience with God, I was struggling a bit to make that connection. So I read another version in the Passion Translation, which reads, God, keep us near your mercy fountain and bless us. And when you look down on us, may your face beam with joy. And in reading this version, the verse really came alive for me, especially the part where it alludes to this picture of God beaming down on us with joy and getting that sense that God really enjoys us. And it reminded me personally of when I've experienced the presence of God in a way I can only describe as feeling like I have his full attention in that moment. Um, and have this feeling of the deep joy he has for me, like he's pleased with me somehow. And not for anything I've done for him, but for just being me. And as I was struggling for a way to understand and describe this and its impact on me, what came to mind was a scene in a film I hadn't thought of in a very long time, but I really feel like it relates to what I'm trying to say here in my relationship with God. And this scene's from the movie Super 8, and part of the story centres on a teenage boy, Joe. He's lost his mum not too long ago in an accident, and he's having a difficult time in the relationship with his dad, and he's sitting with another character, Alice, in his house, and there's been a power cut, and suddenly the power comes back on, and a home video starts up, and it's of him and his mum together when he was little. And so him and Alice sit and watch it together, But it's what he remembers about his mum while watching this video of her that I found really spoke to me and moved me. And he says to Alice, she used to look at me this way, like really look. And I just knew I was there, that I existed. And I think this really resonated with me because we can all relate to this. We all want and need that feeling of being seen and known deeply by someone. And we suffer when we feel like we don't have that and feel isolated and disconnected. And in fact, without knowing deep down that we're fully seen and fully known, we can't have a true sense of belonging or connection. Brene Brown really explains this well in her TED Talk on vulnerability. Um, And we all have times where we don't feel seen or known. But the truth for everybody, no matter who we are, is that even if we don't feel like anyone sees us, God is looking and really sees us and deeply knows us, everything about us. And this verse has reminded me that when he looks at us, it's not with disappointment or disapproval, but with deep joy. Like a natural parent, he cares about our character, but we don't need to jump through all these religious hoops to deserve his attention or for him to enjoy us. He just does unconditionally. And I think understanding this truth is where we get that real sense of belonging and connection to him. So I hope that encourages somebody today.